Tonight is going to be looking to lean on the speed and the footwork in this particular matchup. Got to keep the hands high, right? You got to stick and move and get the head off the center line, given the power that's coming back. But I'm just not sure that the opponent can match the quickness. Exceptionally fast on the feet. Very good at using angles to set up his offensive attacks and very sound defensively as well. So has the reach advantage, figures to be able to use it here tonight. This is one slick striker with which to contend. really of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee has graced the octagon. He is ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean, our third man Ready. in the octagon for this one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles, just absurd. And a heart got to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Whiffs on that offer. Push kick there to the body. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Beautiful kick. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans. Not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. The right hand just misses. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big shot to the head. Oh, a kick. Oh, lands another hook. 
beautiful job getting those hands up. Clipped him with the jab. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab, DC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves... Oh, huge shot finds the target there! Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Hands up, hands up. Lands a quick jab. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Left hand is good. So now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Stunned there by that stiff jab. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with beating. Under a minute now to go round one. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. So some nice deception there. Pretty good lead left hand. I mean, the southpaw position, instead of throwing a jab, he's throwing his power hand first. I wonder what he's setting up. Block that punch. Lands a beautiful leg kick. 20 seconds left. Nice, solid punch lands. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Reach the end of round one. All right, buddy. Let's punch into that clinch this way. Right? He has no answer for your clinch. He's not defending the right way. He's open for those knees, those elbows. All of that is working great. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round two on the way. All right, next round is underway, and I think my biggest takeaway in the previous round, his ability to avoid shots, right? It seemed like every time his opponent loaded up, by the time the strike got there, he was out of harm's way. And it was a very minimal movement. It wasn't a big movement off the center line. The opponent threw, it was maybe two inches off to the right that allowed him to be out of position from his opponent's punch, but still in position to return a strike of his own. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, brilliant execution. 
position to land the roundhouse. gets tattooed by that stiff jab. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. And blocks the shot there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take... See the land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, landing some big shots, too. Oh, nice. Nice. He lands another head kick. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Just out of range with that kick attempt. He has to evade Stan's face. Big head kick! Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. That knee, that knee hurt him. Let's get busy with those hands. Two minutes remain in the round. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Lee. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He is doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Lee gets caught by the inside leg kick. Nice defense there, huge block. Everything works off of the jab, doubles up on it there. Throwing that jab, no good. Lee's body getting bruised up on that right side now. Don't want to take too many more shots to that midsection. Under a minute to go in the round. Some separation. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Going to the ball. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Beautiful jab lane. Caught that kick there. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, 
Big roundhouse attempt just misses. Please. The strike attempt there is blocked. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Clean with the right hook. Stay heavy on that front. Let's go. All right, single collar tie now. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, nice. Just missing on the high kick there. Big punch land. Ooh. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh! Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Just over two minutes now to go. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very even the match fight. Just missed with the elbow there. Now lands a kick to the body. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Some serious bruising going on in and around that right thigh. May want to check a leg kick or two. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, nice body shot. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Very fast leg kick lands for My favorite shot in the game, another leg kick. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Final seconds of the round. He gets to the single collar tie. Look in, to drive, and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Five. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Go we ahead. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. 
All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Oh, he's in a world of trouble now. Big combination. Fighter lands a right punch. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Pretty interesting to see him mixing it up with the kicks here, some calf kicks, and now attacking the thigh effect. Just throwing a traditional leg kick. The traditional leg kick was a little higher. Everybody wants to talk about that calf kick right now. There's still a lot can be done with those traditional leg kicks. Oh, and that punch elicited a little reaction from the crowd. They're so evenly matched, they're going to attack. Just over three minutes to go. Where are your hands? Throws the teeth. All right, so the bruising on that thigh is getting really bad by the minute. He's gonna have a hard time walking in the morning, and this fight could end in short order. Well, even in between rounds, the corner needs to be getting ice on that thigh. He's been beat up in this area. This guy's leg is unrecognizable. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this one. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip the head at a moment's note. Just unable to quite find that range. Lands flush with that right hand. Under two minutes here to go, round four. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know what Grab or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Knee to the body. Big right hand. Way to hide that leg kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Every time he throws that leg kick, it lands with so much force. Kick lands. One minute now to go in round four of a possible five. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing shot. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Huh. 20 minutes down, Stop. potentially five to go. All right, sit down. All right, breathe, focus, okay? Focus on slowing that heart rate down. I know you're not tired. I know you have more in that gas tank. 
All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? Ready to fight. Ready. Fifth and final round. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic. Oh, oh my God, he's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, nice jab there by Lee. And he's back up. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, big punch land. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. Walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Oh, got that head kick home. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent, lifted a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Everything's landing perfect. Keep that pressure on. Lee gets caught by that straight, and now a head kick to boot. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, that body kick couldn't have felt good. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, gorgeous switch kick by him there. Clearly, he has practiced that move and was able to execute on fight. He can do that and not really tell you where that kick is going. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. And the front kick is there. Nice job by Lee. Body kick is there. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Lands the front kick to the body. Now nice work on the feet by Lee. Back and forth we go. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Body kick lands. Under two minutes to go in the fight. Nice jab by Lee. That was a tremendous high kick. Yeah. Clean punch. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cut. Oh, man, how many leg kicks can one man I mean, I think this is it. Takes many more of these kicks, his night is going to be over. Big knee to the body. Clipped him with the right hand there. Whiffs on the right hand. Under a minute now to go in the fight. Nice strike landed there. Oh, I'm in a ton of trouble right now. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. 30 seconds now to go in the fight.
20 seconds to go in the fight. Push kick there to the body. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage